Trees, a compare and contrast book. This was written by Katherine Hall. She's the author. They don't list an illustrator because it's got lots of photographs from all over the world. Wow, that's pretty. I'll read the text and then I'll say a couple of words about it. Trees are plants with a woody stem called a trunk. Okay, I bet we already knew that, didn't we? We see trees almost every day, don't we? But we know what a trunk is, for sure. Sometimes I run into them if I'm not looking where I'm going, but don't tell. So I'll read it again. Trees are plants with a woody stem called a trunk. Trees can plant their roots in water. On rocks. Or in soil. The soil near this tree has eroded so that the roots are exposed. Eroded. You know that word? Maybe you do, maybe not, but when something is eroded, that means that the soil has been washed away from it by rain or floods, or maybe it's been blown away by the wind. Half of the roots on this tree are sitting right out there in the open because the soil has eroded, been taken away from it, I'll bet by a flood. But the other roots are still holding on, and maybe these roots are too, even further down in the ground. This oak tree lives in a forest with many other trees. Wow, can you see all of that stuff hanging off of the branches? I've seen that, I've seen things like that. I was in a park way down south one time and I saw that and you know what that stuff that hangs off of the branches is called? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I found out. It's called Spanish moss, but I'll tell you a secret, don't tell. Well, maybe you can if you want to. Spanish moss isn't really moss. It's a kind of a plant called an epiphyte. There's not gonna be a spelling test. You don't have to remember how to spell it or even how to say it. Maybe you will remember an epiphyte is a plant that gets its food right out of the air. Woo, I wish I could do that. I'll read this page again. This oak tree lives in a forest with many other trees. Look at them all. Oh, but this acacia tree thrives alone. Thrives, do you know that word? That means to live in a way that is very happy and healthy. Are you thriving today? I hope so. And look, it's all by itself. I hope it doesn't get lonesome. Well, it does have those animals off in the distance. Maybe they're friends. Hope so. Trees can live in warm climates, like this Joshua tree. Here's another secret. Last year, I went to California. Wow. And I saw trees just like this. Oh, they're so neat. Very strange looking, but boy, are they nice. Joshua tree. And trees can live in cold climates, like these black spruce pines. In this photo, they really do look black. I wonder if they're that, that black in real life? Maybe so. Black spruce pines, cold climates, okay. Ooh, some trees, like this Satsuki azalea bonsai, there won't be a test. You don't have to remember Satsuki Azalea Bonsai, although you might. Some trees like this Satsuki Azalea Bonsai are very small, even when fully grown. That little tree in a pot is really, really old, folks. Yeah, and it's gonna stay that little. Pretty flowers, but I'll keep reading now. Other trees are very tall. The giant redwood is the tallest tree in the world. Now let's look carefully at that photo. 
can you look down into the little river, that little stream that's down there? Do you see a person standing there? Uh oh, look how small that person is compared to how big those trees are, how tall they are. And here's another secret. I saw some of those trees in California too. Wow, are they big and tall. Hmm, here's another word for us, deciduous. Let's find out what it means. Deciduous trees shed their leaves once a year. The leaves on many deciduous trees change color before falling from the tree. Okay, so there's a word, no spelling test. There's a word, deciduous trees, and that just means the leaves fall fall right off of the tree once a year. We know all about that. That's what happens around here, I think. Yeah, they change color in the fall and then they drop off for the winter. Deciduous trees. Evergreen trees keep their leaves and stay green all year round. Hmm? Ah, a couple of different kinds of leaves. Leaves, oops, <laughs> not leaves, trees, trees. Trees with wide, flat leaves are called broadleaf trees because their leaves are broad. Other trees have scaly, needle-like leaves and are called conifers, like those over there on that side, like the evergreen trees that you may know already, I bet you do. Broadleaf and conifers. Hmm. Many different kinds of trees grow all around the world on every continent except Antarctica. Whoa, high five, you've just read Trees, a compare and contrast book. Wow, congratulations, hope you liked it. <laughs>